Hello friends, it's Miss Kaylee from the Ida Public Library, and today we're going to be reading a book called I Am Not Sleepy and I Will Not Go to Bed by Lauren Child. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her, and sometimes Mom and Dad ask me to try and get her off to bed. This is a hard job, because Lola likes to stay up late. Do you like to stay up late like Lola? Lola likes to stay up coloring and scribbling and sticking and wriggling and bouncing and most of all, chattering. Usually when I say, Lola, mom says it's time for bed, she says, no, I am not sleepy and I will not go to bed. I say, but all the birds have gone to sleep. She says, but I am not a bird, Charlie. But you must be slightly sleepy, Lola, I say. Lola says, I'm not slightly sleepy at six, or one, or eight, and I'm still wide awake at nine, and not at all tired at ten, eleven, twelve, and I will probably still be perky at even thirteen o'clock in the morning. Lola says she never gets tired. Do you think she really never gets tired, or she just doesn't want to admit it? One night I said, but if there's no bedtime, there can be no bedtime drink. And it's strawberry milk. Lola really likes strawberry milk. Are you sure you don't want to go to bed? But Charlie says, Lola, if I have strawberry milk, the tigers will want strawberry milk too. What tigers? The tigers at the table, Charlie. They're waiting for their bedtime drink. Tigers get very cross if they don't have their drink. So I make strawberry milk for Lola and three tigers. Then I say, let's go and brush our teeth. So Lola says, but Charlie, I can't brush my teeth because somebody is using my toothbrush. But who would use your toothbrush, I ask. Lola says, I think it's that lion. I saw a lion with my toothbrush, and now he's brushing his teeth with it. But isn't this your toothbrush, Lola, I ask. Oh, says Lola, he must be using yours. You. So Lola and one lion brush their teeth. Then I say, you have to take a bath. You look a bit grubby. Who says? Says Lola. Mom does, I say. She's coming to check in one minute. And then what do you think Lola says? What do you think she says? But Charlie, I can't have a bath because of the whales. What whales? I ask, looking around. The whales swimming in the bathtub. They're taking up all the room, she says. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I ask. Do you think he looks a little frustrated? Maybe you will have to help me shoo one of them down the drain, says Lola. So I help Lola shoo one whale down the drain. And then Lola hops into the tub. Now, Lola, I say, where are your pajamas? I don't have any pajamas, Charlie, she says. I say, what about these under your pillow? Those are not my pajamas, says Lola, shaking her head. Oh, no, those pajamas belong to two dancing dogs. Well, do you think they would let you just borrow their pajamas, I ask? Maybe, says Lola, but you'll have to call them on the telephone and ask. And off I go to call the two dancing dogs. What are they saying, Lola says. They say the pajamas suit you better than them, and you can wear them whenever you like. That's nice of them, she says. Would you let someone use your pajamas? And so Lola gets into her pajamas. At last, Lola is ready for bed. And I say, now, Lola, I have given three tigers their strawberry milk and watched a lion use my toothbrush and shooed one whale down the drain and telephoned two dancing dogs about pajamas. Now, will you please hop into bed? Lola says, yes, Ch yes, Charlie, I'm hopping, I'm hopping. But Charlie, says Lola, oh, don't tell me, I say. I bet I can guess. There's a huge hippopotamus in your bed. And do you know what Lola says? Don't be silly, Charlie. I wouldn't let a hippopotamus into my bed. But I think there's one in yours, says Lola, as she snuggles under her covers. Zzz. Good night, Lola. Now it's your turn to close your eyes and go to sleep. Good night.